Okay, in today's video we're going to do a simple LED light install, but this is going to be different because we're going to tie it into my backup lights. On my other channel, we did the one on my Jeep where we had relays that the backup lights would only come on when the headlights were turned on or the parking lights were turned on. However, in this video, we're going to install it on my F-150 pickup that it comes on regardless if the lights are on or not. It isn't going to be a relay installed. So what the first thing we're going to do is measure how much current this light uses because someone's going to pipe in saying it's using too much current, you're going to burn up the wiring and all this other crap. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to go to the simple install. This one's going to be different than how you would normally do it because I already have a wire coming down for my backup lights because years ago I had a boat and the marine trailer it had had a lockout for the brakes so when you put it in reverse the electronic signal would activate the lockout because the brakes couldn't come on when you're backing up because it was hydraulic brakes versus electronic but anyways that's another story in itself let's check the current on this light all right we got everything hooked up on the multimeter verifying the multimeter 0.94 0.94 so basically one amp. So we're talking one amp of power. I am not worried at all of overloading the reverse circuit. First thing we're gonna do is bust out the trouble light. Test and see if there's still power to that blue wire by putting it in reverse. This thing probably has something stupid that you gotta Put your foot on the brake to reverse it. Oh, yep. Cocksucker. There we go. Backup lights are on. There we go, using the bumper. I'm gonna pull the tail light out to show you just where it's installed. So once upon a time this truck was a company truck and it had a backup alarm so what I did is that the power wire for the backup alarm I just cut it and then ran my blue wire down below which is that blue wire hanging that we're going to tie into. So that's how the light looks right now. I already got that connection I need to tape it up could solder if you want there's many different ways but I am just having a connect that way if I have issues I can remove it and then we're gonna connect there's a ground up there that we're going to remove and connect onto that and then this project will before be done. I tape up the connections this is coming down from the reverse light on my brake lights and then ground to the frame obviously two wire connections we're gonna tape them up that's the way it's sitting and we're gonna try it's the moment of truth now Let's see if she works. In reverse. A nice work. little easy install. It'll take you less than an hour to do. We'll do a shot tonight of the light. For backing up, that is freaking perfect. Alright, I'm going to end the video there of installing the backup light in my F-150 pickup truck. There's a million ways to do this job. This is just one way. There's better ways to do this job. And those wire connections will long outlast that light. Guaranteed. I'll talk to you guys in the future.